subscribe or this will happen to you. <laughs> yeah, you're not subscribed yet? Come on! A little bit different today for the YouTube video. So a lot of people have been asking about the price of kind of strongman equipment, how much money we spend in the gym. Obviously we had an extension put on last year and people were asking you what that incurred and how much it costs to do. So we've had quite a big improvement in the gym, I would like to think, over the last year or so. Basically what we're going to do today is talk you through the the money side of things. You know, we just want to be upfront, honest, this is what we do. This is our job for us. Um, you know, the gym effectively is our office. It's our place of work, so we need to have the equipment. So instead of computers, chairs, whatever we have, weights, logs, dumbbells, etc., etc., We're in the very fortunate position that we have sponsors and they're very kind to us. Mirafit are amazing, they send us up so much. We're gonna talk you through it today and yeah, see what figure we come up with. Hopefully it's not too scary. We'll start off with the, the gym extensions. When we first moved in, it was just two units. We thought, right, last year, lockdown, let's put an extension on. So we talked to next door, there's a joiners there. So they kind of gave us the guide. So we needed to kind of concrete the whole thing, fence it off. I've got a little list uh, below here. So we've got the, the fence around the perimeter of the gym. And with that, we got a big long bench outside for seating. That cost us 1,500 pound. Then we've got the signs, the Stoltman Strength signs, so one in the far off end in the extension, one above the door as you come in. They were about £800. The concrete base that we got, that was quite hard going, that was £1,500 to get that. Then we put AstroTurf outside, that was £500 for that. Storage area, that was another £500. The paint, believe it or not, so we had to do uh, repaint the whole thing, that was £2,000, which was pretty heartbreaking. The door, now this was a big one for me, I was shocked at how much. One sing single door, Tom can only just fit through. That cost £1,100. We got new lighting in here, outside lights and internal lights, that was £1,000. Also, the cold tub that we dug into the ground, the tub itself was about £500. And then we also got the hot tub, which cost £5,000. Fortunately, we don't have to pay for that, thank you to the sponsors. The wall art that we got put up in the, the extension, a montage of Tom and I, of, of all different folks of Tom and I, that was £500 as well. Jeez, oh, it's, ex it's expensive. And the actual extension that we put on, the joinery work, the, the building off that, that was £10,000 that we spent on that. That's pretty much the work that we did last year on the gym and gym improvements just to build the extra shell. That's not taken into any consideration of the machines. We're going to talk about that in a minute. The strongman equipment. Um, so you'd have probably seen, obviously, with all our training videos, we've got yokes, sleds, farmers, atlas stones, logs, dumbbells, etc., etc. There's a lot of stuff. Tom and I have taken the, the kind of mindset this year, or since we got back from World Strongest Man, that we need to cover all bases. So that's why you, you would have seen in our video when we got back from Worlds that we needed to buy the giant dumbbells and the Hercules hold. So we've just got the dumbbells and the Hercules hold is on route. Let's go through the strongman equipment that we've got. We have the Mirafit yoke, which is around £400. The Mirafit sled slash prowler, that's £165. We've got the Mirafit farmers, which is about £100 as well. We've got the, our other farmers, the heavy duty ones, they are £395. The circus dumbbells that we've just got from Rebel, the 80 kilo one and the 100 kilo one, they worked out around uh, £400 each. Oh. Obviously a selection of logs. The Mirafit log, that was £200. Uh, two additional ones, so we've got the big metal um, 90 kilo one, that was £300 to buy. The other metal one, which is 80 kilos, I think that was about 300 pound as well. The wooden log made by Richard Looney across in Ireland. I can't really put a price on that, that's, to me that's priceless, but I think looking at the kind of other logs out for sale, that would have been around a thousand pound to buy. See, with all the carvings and everything else like that, it's pretty, for me it's pretty exceptional. The, you know, the way Richard carved Tom's name, my name, Stoltman, and the kind of Celtic stuff on it is really nice. We've got a Rebel Strength Plate Loadable Shield. That was £275. The Hercules Hold that's coming from Rebel, that's, that was £700. We've got a Viking Press, 
which cost £600. We've had that for a few years now. That's kind of stood stood time and the bad weather and stuff. We just leave it outside. That's been a really good buy. All the stones that we've got from Atlas Endurance, obviously they're amazing to us. They, they kind of really look after, especially Tom. You know, Tom's big loss that he does. Estimated cost is around £2,000. A set from 100 to 200, then I think it's a two. 50, 255, 260, 286. So there's a lot of weight in those stones, so you can see why they, they kind of cost so much. The time and effort that Atlas Endurance go into kind of doing that is, is very much appreciated. And you know, a special thank you, and I'm sure Tom kind of passes on his thanks as well for making such great stones. So that's pretty much all our strongman equipment. It is a commercial gym um, that we have. We have maybe about 80 odd members, so we have to have kind of equipment for the members. So the bars, we've got obviously a, a varied um, amount of bars here. We've got the Rogue deadlift bar, which was £400 to buy. The original Texas deadlift bar, that was £600. We bought that five years or six years ago now, so it's, it's doing well, but it's, it's an awful lot of money to pay for. We've also got Mirafit bars again, which are incredible. We use the Mirafit bars for like dead, deadlifting, uh, stiff bar deadlift, bench press, overhead press, any kind of that type of work. We've got around 10 Mirafit bars in the gym, and each one of them is on average about £200 a pop. Power racks that we've got, £300 each, so we've got two of those in the gym. The weights bench, we've got three of them at the moment, £200 each as well. The half power racks with the deadlift platform, £2,000 each. So for the two of them, that was £4,000, which is it's quite a lot of money. That's before we knew about Mirafit. It's nice to see that, you know, there is affordable options out there and just as good quality. This rig that I'm sitting in between, the CrossFit rig, that was £2,000. We've also got around 400 plus kilos or so worth of competition style, two and a half thousand pound. Bumper plates, which are, you know, obviously kind of CrossFit based. Um, we do CrossFit classes here. That's, that's about 2,000 pounds worth of bumper plates that we've got. And then additional, your cast iron plates, just your run of the mill kind of generic plates. 2,000 pounds worth of that, I guess. It's just kind of a rough kind of guess. We've, we've kind of built up those type of plates over, over the years and kind of adding, you know, a few hundred kilos. We've probably got about, I don't know, 3,000, 4,000 kilos of, of plates in the gym, which is, you know, quite a decent amount, um, but always could have more with the, the kind of growing number of members that we've got. So we've got dumbbells up to 70 kilos. That was £3,000 to get those dumbbells in. Tom and I, we need those heavier dumbbells when we're in peak training. You know, we are pressing those 70 kilos, shoulder pressing them, and, and they are kind of paramount for our training. So it's something that we really need to cover. We got uh, an array of machines last year, around £6,000 we paid for them, uh, all in all. I think it's quite a good, a good price. I was get, getting quoted for a new leg press, I think I was getting quoted 3,000 from some companies, which is an awful lot of money, you know, to pay for one bit of kit. But again, it is what it is. Conditioning stuff, a salt bike, which was 800 pound, the ERG bike, 1,300 pound, Concept 2 rower, um, I think that was about 900. The skier, that's, that's 800 pound. So that's the only kind of conditioning stuff we have. But even with that, that's one, two, three, four things. And it's almost like, it's not shy, it's just shy of £4,000, I guess. So you can kind of go like £1,000 a pop. We've got four 50 kilo sandbags. They're £50 a piece. We've got a 100, a 125, and a 150 kilo sandbag. That's around £240 in total for those. Wall balls for like the classes and stuff, £400 worth of them. Drop pads, so the one you'll see when we throw the log down, pads that kind of take away the impact on the flooring. So they're £120 a pair, four, four pairs of those. Um, great mats, so I'm really kind of happy with them. The gym flooring that we've got, that's another one that's expensive. That was, all in all, that's probably about £2,000 we spent um, on just putting flooring in the gym, and it's not, quite done yet. It's good enough for, for kind of what we need at the moment, um, but we're looking to improve. You know, we are very fortunate in the sense that we haven't had to pay for some of the stuff, um, but unfortunately Tom and I both have had to pay for, you know, probably the majority of stuff in here and it just, it's taken 
it's probably taken us about five or six years to kind of build and accumulate all this stuff. Or it's not just an instant kind of thing that we've built. We don't pay off anything. We've paid everything in cash through me working offshore, then Tom doing well in competitions. You know, we, we kind of use that money to reinvest in ourselves and kind of, again, improve our working environment. And that's what we're doing here. And it's nice that other people can kind of come in and use the gym. It's by no means the most fancy kind of updated, modern, whatever gym, but for us, we love it. That pretty much is everything covered in what we've got. I mean, like I say, there's like fridges and the office stuff, you know, we have to pay for that. Computers, laptops, etc., etc. But that's just a little insight to kind of how much we've spent. I don't really know the total price. Maybe Big Tommy's been keeping an eye on it and we could maybe go over there and see if he's worked out a rough number. I don't know if he's got enough fingers for that. Let's pass over the paper and see if Tom can give us a final answer on that. Tommy? So I've been behind the scenes calculating it all for you lovely people and according to my calculations, this gym costs, right, this is gonna shock everybody, shock me, 62 million comma 210,000 pounds. So, uh, I don't know. I don't think that's quite right, Tom. Well, uh, we will soon find out. I put my specs on. Holy crap balls. Um, 62,210 pounds. Oh, I was a bit off. 62,210 pounds for a gym, that's not bad, is it? Hey guys, hope you enjoyed Luke's diary of what the gym cost. I was falling asleep, but anyway, that's a different story. We just wanted to put it out there because we have worked hard. Like Luke said, we've been trying to get a gym together for the last 10 years. We started in my parents' like war hut shed that they used to have. We called it the nest, so we used to deadlift in there. The floor was crumbling. For forward seven, eight years later, we've kind of come together, built a gym. Sponsors give us a few things, but everyone might think the sponsors give us everything, but like Luke said, we spent nearly 70 grand on this gym, so it's uh, a place where we're happy, a place where we have fun, a place where we get strong. Thank you for watching, keep liking, keep commenting, keep subscribing, because you'll help me very much and you might help Luke as well. Please, stay safe, smile and stay spicy. And don't forget to... Ring that little bell! Ding 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 